morning. I just did the most hectic bike ride through proper storms, pissing out with rain, trucks overtaking me, spraying me with puddles. That was gnarly. What's going on doggies and good morning. All right, so today the odds, they're not in our favor. We've got disgusting wind. I just went through the most hectic storm of rain, but now it's cleared up, it's looking beautiful. And the tides, they're not in our favor either. We've got mid tides, so it's not the best for fishing, but we're gonna give it a red hot crack, see if we can get some fish. If we don't get fish, maybe head down to that beach or I'll roll on some footage from yesterday. I went squidding and it was just insane squid session again. Maybe we'll even try to get some squid, I'm not sure, but we'll go for a fish and just play by ear. Adventure. Usually days like today where I've got absolutely no plans are usually my favorite kind of day. So we'll get in the water and uh, see how we go. Oi, we're not alone. <laughs> nah, there's like another uh, seven or eight other people fishing here. So that's cool. It's a little bit busy on the rocks. Usually where I want to fish, there's people standing there. So I'm gonna have to stand on the swelly, windy side, which is a bit of a pain in the ass, but that's all good. They've got one bluefin trevally and that's all they've got. There's about seven people fishing. They've been fishing hard since sunrise and they've got one fish. So, might be a slow day. I might have to push that squid footage on for you guys, but hopefully we don't have to. Hopefully we can make our own adventure and it's gonna be sick. But I'll show you that fish now and then I'm gonna get into fishing. Beautiful bluefin trevally. And then this legend, just gave me this lure to try. <laughs> so good. So that guy just gave me his lure to use. I'm going to set it up, putting some hooks on it, and I'm going to get it out there. Hopefully we can get ourselves a fish. Fingers crossed. If not, who cares, man? This is sick. Just being out here doing this. All right, we're on. Lure's set. Let's go. Let's do this. So it's all happening now. The rain's here, the wind's here. I've been fishing for about two hours. Woo, nearly got wet. And um, yeah, there's not a lot happening. One of my Russian mates was fishing just around the corner. You can probably see it just there. He hooked up, hooked up to a Mahi Mahi just then. And um, apart from that, it's pretty bloody quiet. But we're just gonna stay persistent today. I'm just gonna keep flicking rain, hail or shine. Hopefully we can hook up. If not, we're going on an adventure. All right, so I'm checking in again. It has been like two hours since I checked in last. Still no fish have been landed. The boys are over there, they're just hanging out, chilling on the rock. I'm staying persistent, I'm still flicking lures. No hits yet, but they're coming. And we've got some big waves coming in now. I just got absolutely dusted by one. And there's another one coming now. So it's turning pretty rough here. But I am determined to get a fish. So I'm just gonna keep flicking and flicking and flicking. All right, it is hot as hell right now. Got the zinc on, got sun cream on. It's 12 o'clock now, no one's got any fish. That one bluefin trevally this morning, and that's it. So what I'll do, to keep you mad dogs entertained, I'll roll on those clips from squid fishing the other day, so you guys get a little bit of entertainment, because I'm out there just flicking lures flat out. So, watch that squid footage. Hopefully, if I hook up, I'll cut back in and we'll be onto a fish. But if not, enjoy that squid footage and I'll see you afterwards, whatever we do. Yeah, doggies. Sun's just about to pop, it's beautiful head up over there. It's an amazing morning, look at that water. Woo! I'm getting excited. So the goal today is to get a couple of GTs. If we can get a couple of small GTs, that's what we're targeting. But we have our squid gear with us because last time was too much fun. I got like a two kilo squid, my personal best squid. So um, yeah, we're gonna head back out there and see where we go. Listen to these roosters, man. They've got a set of lungs on them, I'll tell you what. <laughs> what a way to start the day, man. So oh. 
change of plans so the current isn't pushing enough for the GTs to be on the chew so what we're gonna do we're gonna drop down the squid jigs again we're back in that spot from last episode so there should be squid around words got out there's a few people fishing around here but here we go doggies squid time so it's happened again we haven't been here for long and I've just got a squid we've all got a squid on board this calls for the net Woo! I'm not here for squid. I don't want squid today. We need GTs, but we're waiting for that tide. So we might as well get a feed. Look at that, mate. Again, this spot is off its head. If you watched the last episode, you would have seen us cleaning up with squid and right now it's happening. The captain's on, I'm on. <laughs> nah, it's good, we're pumping him in. Yeah, chew me! Woo! Oh. <laughs> Got me! <laughs> wow! <laughs> I just got owned by a squid! Gosh. I love it! Trot, trot. Look at this little snot ball! <laughs> Captain is on! Yeah, doggy! Go, go, go! All right, we've got another squid on. This one's actually pretty big. When it smashed that squid jig, it actually was taking line. So this could be a good squid. We're still waiting for that current to start pushing in so we can go GT fishing, but this is a sick way to kill the time. This is a good squid. And he's on. Woo! <laughs> so we've got to be really careful with this squid because we're bringing them up from like 50 meters of water, so. We've been pulling. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Ooh, ooh, ooh. This could be a good squid. Oh, there she is. Woo! <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Good! Woo! The camera got dusted. So that last squid absolutely dusted the camera with ink. I was trying to get it out of the bag to show you guys and I had it dropping down and it just got belted before I could even show you that squid. It's pretty big. But now I've got another one. Whee! Chumi Batu. Chumi Batu. <laughs> so that's a cuttlefish. It's actually not a squid. It's beautiful. Look at the colors in that. All right, so this is the squid that I got before and it inked the camera. Then I just got this cuttlefish. This is probably the best thing we could be doing while we're waiting for that tide to change. Woohoo! What a sick little squid session that was. So the tide's just changing. It's now, the tide's now running out. So there should be a bit more water moving. Hopefully we can get what we come for. So we come for some GTs or some kind of pelagic fish. So hopefully, fingers crossed, we can get a couple. But I got five squid, one cuttlefish, and I'm pretty sure the boys got about the same. So we did pretty good. But uh, it's time to get some real fish. This is where we're going to be popping these lures. There's a little bit more water moving in here, but it's still not rushing, which is really strange. Oh, this is good. I'm excited. All right, let's get what we come for. This is by far the most exciting fishing I reckon personally. Personally? Oh my God, I can't speak English. I can't even speak English. I'm fizzing so hard. 
But this is like my favorite type of fishing, man. I just changed my popper to a black one, which I usually get all the small GTs on, so. Oh man, I'm frothing for this. It's so exciting. Get him, brah. Woo! Come up and boofed it, huh? Yeah. Oh. Black. Black GT. Oh my god. <laughs> It is so bloody hot out here right now, but I wouldn't change it for the world. So we've popped that spot for, I don't know, an hour and a half. Andy had a massive black GT follow, but they're just not hitting. I had a big barracuda follow. They're just not doing it though. So we're gonna head up here and uh, try a new spot, somewhere with a bit more swell. Hopefully that stirs them up a little bit, but all in all, it's been a sick day so far. We've got about 15 squid all up and woo, it's just another magic day out in the water. I need a GT, I want to see this rod bend. Best sort of fishing ever. We're back on dry land, nearly. So the current just wasn't pushing. There was no GTs around, but we absolutely slayed it with squid again. What a spot, man. That is a hot spot for squid. No GTs, you don't get fish every time. All right, doggies, I'll see you soon. Wow. So that was another epic squid session. Like, I have absolutely no problem with catching squid because they are one of my favorite things to eat in the ocean. Like, that's possibly up there with my favorite seafood. That and mud crabs, ooh, up the top there. I put in some serious hours fishing on those rocks. All the guys there fished hard. We fished hard until sunset and no one got anything. I had two big uh, barracuda chase my lure right up to the rock, but they just weren't eating it. I don't know why. I stood on those rocks and I flicked 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 lures the whole day until sunset. Like, seriously, I was flicking lures until the sun set and we got nothing. Two big barracuda come up and had a sniff, but they just didn't buff it. So that's fishing. But it was a sick day. I met some amazing people, had heaps of fun, and I suppose that's what it's all about, huh? But all those squid that we got, I'm down here, I'm in the kitchen, and we are gonna cook those squid up. So my chick and I, we do a lot of traveling on little islands that nobody lives on. Just little, literally, islands with a few coconut trees. That's, where, that's like our favorite destination to go. And we always catch squid. And there's a certain way we cook those squid, which is just, it is so good. So that's how we're gonna cook those squid today. We're down here, we're in the kitchen, we're getting it done. All right, I'm gonna start a fire and then we'll uh, start cooking these squid up. Look at our little fire. This is all we need to cook this squid. We don't want flames, we want coals. So I've got some bigger sticks here. Turn them into coals later. All right, so it's been raining. You guys saw it was raining yesterday. It's still raining. So this is gonna be a little bit hard to light. So I'm gonna cheat. Sorry. Now this is how you start a fire when you've got wet wood. So simple. <laughs> Look at that, how easy is it? Oh, this is looking good. This is exactly what we want. Pure coals, man. I reckon that rain's gonna come back soon, so. Oh, Jesus. All we need to do is get these coals down and we're gonna be laughing. I'll start wrapping that squid up in the banana leaves, I reckon. I am that excited right now. Check out this. This is what I live for. This is the best thing ever. Got our banana leaves. Fresh squid, here we go. Oh my God, my mouth's watering already. Look at this, mate. Fire, starting to go. That's nearly perfect. Look at this, all right. Without getting sand on there, this is the hard part. So hard not to get sand on the squid. All right, so we got a little bit of sand on our squid. That never hurt anyone. Adds to the flavor. All right, a little bit of a change of plan. I don't want to put sand all over my squid and it's going to get ruined down there. So we've got salt, which I took from 
I think an aeroplane about six months ago. Get that on there. Pepper, same aeroplane, different flavor. What have we got here? Another pepper. We'll chuck two peppers on, one salt. All right, this is looking too good. We need more banana leaves. This is so much easier without sand. All right, look at this, mate. Now you just wrap it up. It's like a parcel, like a Christmas present, except it's just way better than a Christmas present. So we'll do one wrap this way, like this. We need another banana leaf. Woo! Look at this, now we're cooking. That's probably enough, you know. Oh, we've got one wrap left. Too much, too much banana leaf. I don't like it. And guys, that is it. Inside here we have beautiful fresh squid, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. Now we're just gonna bang it on those coals cover it over and it's going to start steaming and boiling and just getting juicy and delicious and <sighs> let's go all right with this extremely hot stick it's going to make a little bit of room here oh look at this mate and we'll just bang it on all right so we don't really need to put coals on top because it's so hot down the bottom it's going to come through and like act like an oven it's kind of like alfoil but we'll just grab a couple of these little suckers Sit them on top. Look at this. This is the best thing ever. So it doesn't look like much right now, but this here is gonna taste so good. Like the heat that's coming off that's insane, man. All right, so that squid, it's cooking. It's looking good. It's looking amazing. Probably gonna take about five minutes to cook. No, nah, 10 minutes to cook, so we'll give that time. So a lot of people have been asking me to do a Q&A video because there's a lot of questions like who even are you? Why do you live in Bali? What is all this? So many questions. So if you guys want me to do a Q&A video, I would love to do that for you guys. Just leave the questions here or on my Instagram or DM me somewhere and I'll uh, put all the questions together and I'll see if I can answer them in one video. But I do have one thing to say. In the next two to three weeks, my life is going to change drastically and so are these videos. So. I'm a little bit worried about that, a little bit, I don't know, it's a little bit hectic, but you just gotta go with the flow and I'm sure I'll make it fun, but uh, I'll keep you guys informed with that. But if you want me to do a Q&A, fire away. Let's check this squid. Oh, look at that steam coming out. Oh. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh my goodness, check this out. This looks amazing. Hoo -hoo -hoo. Stop it. Um, okay. That's the best thing I've ever seen. We have absolutely nailed the cooking of this squid. Look at that. This is the point when I always drop food, but that is ridiculous. Look at this, mate. Even the flies can't get away from it. Get out of here. That is really good. It's cooked to perfection. Mate. Unbelievable. And these tentacles are the best part. I love them. Look at this dude. It doesn't get any better than that. But that's enough of watching me eat. Thank you for watching. Smash that subscribe button if you haven't already. And if you have, you are a legend. And I guess I'll see you in the next one, doggies. Much love and thank you for watching. Yow!